Hey everyone, welcome to another training video of Go for Clients. Today we're going to learn how to integrate Go for Clients with Facebook lead ads, specifically to send out an internal notification to our team and also send an SMS to contact that lead. Before I start, let me remind you of a very important stat. Did you know that contacting a lead one day after reduces the probability of that lead becoming a customer by 60 times? And even if you contact them an hour later, it still reduces that probability by seven times. So the name of the game is immediacy. You want to reach out to those leads immediately because that's what's going to ensure better conversions and more sales. So let's learn how to do it. I'm just going to click login to go ahead and access my go for clients account. And once I'm in my dashboard, I can go to the Facebook lead ad drips integrations via this menu on the top, um, tool, top right hand of that toolbar by clicking on my drips or just using this icon right here, Facebook lead ads. Let me click on that. That takes me directly to those templates. And as I said, today we're going to use the Facebook form, SMS, and a notification via email. So you just click on use template and let's fill out the parameters that it requires to start that drip. We're going to start from Facebook by default for the email is just asking me what is going to be the sender email. Let's use my work email for that. And then for sending the SMS, just choose the number that we have provided you with your go for clients account. Click on build drip and it takes you to the, our popular drag and drop interface for building the drips. But as you can see, we've already done the work for you. Uh, this is ready to roll. You just have to configure it very quickly. In this example, I don't want to send several SMS. I'm just going to send one. So just by clicking on this box, which we call units, I'm going to go ahead and just delete that unit. I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to leave it a very simple drip. I'm just going to send that notification to my team and then out to the lead. I'm going to reach out through an SMS. All right, guys. So all we have to do is start here and it'll guide me through the process. Let's start. It says connect with Facebook business. And I'm going to do that right now. Before I do, let me just show you that right here on my computer, I do have a Facebook account and I have um, a go for clients page with a form that I already created, which I'm going to use in this example. And in this form, I have a field that it says, you know, would you like a demo? And also three other typical fields that I require, which are, you know, provide me your full name, give me your email, give me your phone number. So I'm going to use that within go for clients. So let's go back to go for where we were and let's start that integration. So connect with Facebook. When I click on that, it immediately searches and finds the Facebook accounts that I should use. If there's another one that you prefer, just click on this link, but I'm going to continue with Juan Osorio's account, which is the one that I need. It turns into green connected, showing that an integration has been successful. Follow the next step. Here it says, pick the pages within your Facebook account that you want to use and the forms. In my pages, I only have that go for demo and in my forms, you know, you could have many and choose, but I just have this one, which I'm going to go ahead and select. Click next step. The third and last step is called mapping, which is associating the fields from your form to what go for clients need. So in go for clients to personalize my emails and the notification information and everything, I want the name. So I'm going to drag that from the full name field in the form. I also need the email. So I'm pulling that from the email field and I need a mobile number to send that text message, right? I'm going to pull that right out of the phone number field in that form. If you have other fields that you need, go ahead and use our tags, just activate them and map them accordingly. For this message tag, I'm going to map it with the information that comes from the question, would you like a demo? If I require more tags, just click on the plus sign. We have plenty of here, uh, plenty of them right here. And finally, this C data right here allows you to validate that the information that you have mapped, the association is correct. So I associated the email with the email field, the full name with the name field. So everything seems pretty much in order. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that and just go to actions. Actions is just uh, asking me how much time to wait to respond or to react to that Facebook form being filled out. And as I said at the beginning, immediacy is really important for us and it should be for you as well. So I'm going to leave it as soon as, but if you need other timers, you could do it in seconds, minutes, days, and hours. You could choose whatever you want. I'm going to leave it as is. Finally, with that done, the next step is go to the next drip unit. So basically what it's saying is we finished Facebook. Now we're jumping to the next unit, which is the actual notification. 
Uh, that notification I'm gonna go ahead and um, set up. I'm gonna send that to my sales team. You know, it's using my home, uh, my work um, email, but I'm gonna change that. I want somebody else to receive it so I can go ahead and change that. Perfect, let me show you it's correct. And yeah, okay, so this example, we're doing it with email, but as you can see, we have options to also send that notification via SMS or even a voice call. So very useful, a lot of uh, capabilities here and a lot of uh, alternatives. All right, you could choose the change the subject, whatever you need, even the design of that um, template for the lead information, you could change, you can just click change design and you know, within the templates, go ahead and look for other options that you prefer, or if you pre-design something else, you can choose it as well. I'm happy with my selection, so I'm just gonna click back here, make sure I go to the next drip unit. And my deck, next drip unit is the SMS itself. When I'm here in the SMS, I wanna make sure that I stand up on configuration, and let's configure that uh, SMS drip. I think the only thing that I really have to configure right here is what do I want to send in my actual uh, content of that SMS. Uh, let's say that I don't like what is being given here, so I go ahead and highlight all that and delete it, and I can just personalize the message. I want to say hi, and let's say that I want to use, of course, the name of the person. So just by using hashtag, it pulls up the different fields that I have, um, you know, with information that I could use. I'm going to use that name field, click on it, and then continue writing. For example, click here for more info. And let's say that I wanna put, uh, you know, place right here a, a link, a short link to, um, to a URL. So I'm gonna select like if you were starting from the start, it's gonna say additional content. I'm gonna say, yeah, I wanna use a URL and I could put where, wherever I wanna redirect that URL. In this scenario, I'm gonna redirect it to go for clients, to our homepage, just to show you guys, all right? And perfect, I'm done with that. So now that I have all my parameters set, all I just uh, all I need to do is save it. It says provide a name. I'm gonna call it Facebook demo with SMS, just to remember, and save and activate. There it is, guys. So simple, so quick. Um, there is my drip ready to work. So let's put it to work. Let's test it out. So what I like to do is I always like to use this developer's uh, Facebook link. Go ahead and copy it and I'm gonna put it on the comments so you can use it. Basically, it allows you to test for free any form that you have. Just make sure that when you start, delete any prior leads that you have tested out. There it is, you're starting from scratch. Just click on preview form and here's that form that I showed you. So let, I'm gonna play the role of the lead. I wanna decide a demo, I'm gonna say uh, yes, please. I want that demo and I'm going to provide the rest of the information that it requires. Once I fill out everything, of course, I'm, as a lead, I'm gonna submit that. And once I do, let me go ahead and share my screen of my phone right here and check this out, guys. I just got that SMS. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that SMS and look how cool this is. I just received, hey, Juan, click here for more info. I had one from a previous um, demo right here, but here it is, and awesome. So I'm just gonna click on that link and there is that redirection that we said. So very powerful. And again, guys, this SMS could have said, Juan, you know, thanks for your interest in our product. Here's that quote. Uh, here's that information you requested. So very powerful. But as a lead, I've been contacted immediately after I submitted that form. And now I'm gonna go ahead to my inbox in my email and there it is, that lead, uh, that notification that I wanted, I just received it. Hey, you know, I'm the sales team, I'm the contact center, whoever I am, it says, hey, you have a new Facebook lead and here's all that information. There it is, you know, the, um, the uh, phone number, the, I'm sorry that I deviated here, the um, full name, email, uh, everything that I need, I can now contact that lead, but I'm also relaxed that I know go for clients already did my homework and immediately contact them via that SMS. So I hope you love this. It's so simple. I hope to see you in one of our next training videos. Thank you so much.